Good afternoon, all of you. Uh, my name is Shivani, and I work as a senior sales consultant with DB Sync. Thank you so much for joining today's webinar. Today, we are going to discuss about Salesforce and QuickBooks integration, which is offered by DB Sync. I'll go ahead and give you a quick background of what DB Sync does. So we started as a part of Avankia, which is a parent company in the year 2007. And then later with its growing success, got spun off into DB Sync in the year 2009. We are headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee with offices in San Francisco, California and Bangalore, India. We were one of the first 10 companies to be incubated by Salesforce, which started our journey into cloud application integration. Gartner has also placed us at the magic quadrant for IPaaS worldwide for the year 2016 and 2017. That was mainly because of our rapid customer growth and our customer satisfaction. We have global presence and we continue to grow our customer base across the globe. We have close to 1000 plus DBSync customers who are using DBSync connectors for Salesforce and QuickBooks and also for other connectors that we offer. So our mission is to integrate cloud applications with other cloud or on-premise application to increase data usability across your company. And we are not just limited to Salesforce and QuickBooks, but in the CRM space, we also have Microsoft Dynamics 365, Pocket Advantage, accounting. We are not only QuickBooks online and desktop. We also have Microsoft Dynamics Great Plains, Microsoft Dynamics Nav, NetSuite, Sage, we also have connectors for database, be it SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MySQL. And in the inventory, we also have connector built, that is Key Vault. Here is uh, DBSync customers who has been using DBSync tool. And uh, we have customers ranging in different industries, be it small and mid-sized business or the enterprise level, we have customers in all these areas. So my main question here is, is your data usable? You might be having your data in either of the CRM or could be in accounting or databases, or you might be handling that in-house in data and files or in the databases. But a main question here is, are you actually making use of the data for making your process or the business easier for you? That's what DBSync does. We orchestrate your data and make sure that it is connected from the source and destination, making your life easier. I've dealt with a lot of clients and uh, one of the main questions which I've came across all this while is how can I make sales talk to accounting? How can we make sure that we have the information updated and we can easily track it? We have customers which has been using DBSync for quite some time and on an average, they save $650 per month by reducing the manual and double data entry and also streamlining the process across the organization. So here is the data flow of uh, what we have in our standard template. So you have the account here uh, in, in the Salesforce that will be synced as customer in QuickBooks, opportunity and the order information, which can be created as either of the transaction, which could be estimate, sales order, sales receipt, invoices. Depends upon the nature of your opportunity and the product will flow as an item in your QuickBooks. We are not just limited to the standard template. If you're making use of any other custom objects or fields, we are open to customize DBSync and make sure we are making your business process easier and managing your data effectively. So here's a screenshot of uh, the account which has been synced, in, synced into your QuickBooks and the product that has been under the invoice line item in your QuickBooks. So I'll just quickly walk you through the demonstration now. 
Here is my Salesforce instance. And I'll go ahead and quickly create a new account, create a new opportunity under that, and then we'll go ahead and sync that information into QuickBooks. I'll have a new account created as 21st Feb 2018 and save this. Next, I would be creating a new opportunity under this account. And name that as test opportunity. I'll select the close date here. Stage as closed one and save this. So for us to go ahead and sync this opportunity as either of the transaction, we have to make sure that at least one product is added. So my next step here would be to go ahead and add one test product. I'll go ahead and select the quantity, enter the line description, and save this. So once we have installed dbsync package, you will have this dbsync section under your Salesforce. And exactly the generate field, which you can see here, will act as a trigger field. So it is a drop-down list, which has all the transaction listed down, and the one which is required you can select depending upon the nature of your opportunity. So I'll go ahead and select the invoice transaction and save this. Here's my QuickBooks desktop and I'll go ahead and run the sync. Uh, we, are, we also support QuickBooks Online. And for both QuickBooks desktop and online, uh, we have an option to run the sync either manually or we can automate the process. So I've run the sync here manually by clicking on this update selected button. In case if you want to automate it, you have an option here to auto run and you can select the number of minutes after which you want the sync to run. So once the sync has been completed, you can see the account information and the opportunity will be, create a customer and the invoice transaction in QuickBooks. So just waiting for the sync to complete and we'll have the information updated here. For QuickBooks Online, uh, we have same option available. So you can either run the sync manually or you can also automate it using the scheduler, which gives you an option to either run the sync on a monthly, weekly, or an hourly basis. So it looks like the sync has been completed. And here's the account information which got updated. So I created an account in Salesforce which has been synced as a customer year. And here is the invoice transaction. So the product which we added under that opportunity has been synced as invoice line item. You can see the quantity, description, total amount. 
So in the Salesforce end, once the sync has been successfully completed, you have this generate field changed from invoice to invoice updated. And you'll also have this QuickBooks ID field updated back into your Salesforce. And this helps DBSync to make sure that no duplicate is being created in your Salesforce. So this QuickBooks ID will be updated for your opportunity and the account information and for all the ongoing records. So let me walk you through our website. So you have to, look, to visit our website. It's www.mydbsync.com. We also have this free trial option, which you can go ahead and test it if you would like to see how it works. So it's pretty easy, but in case if you need any help, we also have engineers who can help you to set that up. So you just have to go ahead and select the source and destination and select which edition you would like to go ahead with and then uh, have the installation process completed. So here is the source. In the meanwhile, uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and send that across through GoToMeeting uh, chat window. Once I have completed this, I'll go ahead and answer all those questions. Okay, so I'll, uh, in the meanwhile, I'll just uh, go ahead and answer the question. So I have a question from Kristen. Will there be a standalone API client app to QuickBooks Desktop without having to use QuickBooks Web Connector? So we will be using the QuickBooks Web Connector to run all the sync process for the desktop version of QuickBooks. Currently, Web Connector app requires fixed schedule interval, not real time. Yes, it will be a batch sync process and not real time. OK, there's one more question. Currently, Web Connector app requires QuickBooks to remain open, not desirable for an unattended QuickBooks file server, else license registration check will fail and error after a seven day grace period. You don't need to keep your QuickBooks open as long as the web connector is open. The sync process uh, should continue to happen. Okay, so um, I'll just wait for uh, some more questions which I'll be answering. And in the meanwhile, I'll just walk you through So here is the source and the destination option, which you can select, which gives you the different edition of DBSync, which we offer. Free is has a basic functionality, and you have an option to sync opportunity to invoice. And on a daily basis, five transactions can be synced. So we do not provide any support in the free, but uh, we can go ahead and share the necessary information in case if that is required. Standard edition will cost you $480 per year per organization. It's a unidirectional sync, and you have information moving from Salesforce to QuickBooks. So account will be synced as customers. Opportunity will be synced as transaction. Products going as an item. Enterprise edition will cost you $1,495 per year per organization. 
So it's a bidirectional sync and you have information moving back and forth. So account and customer are tied up together, opportunity with transactions, products as an item. Also, if there is, if there is any custom object or custom field required, you'll have to go ahead with the enterprise edition of DB Sync. And on top of that, there would be one-time consulting charges if DB Sync is taking care of the customization work. If it's just a license which is required, you have to go ahead and purchase just a license and the support and implementation will be free of cost. So uh, is there any question Okay, so uh, yeah, sure, uh, Kristen, I'll uh, get back to you and probably we can discuss about that. Apart from that, is there any question from anyone else? I'm also sharing my contact information in case if you would like to have one-on-one -on -one demo, uh, you can reach out to me and probably we can set some time and walk you through the demonstration. So my email address is shivani.r at avankia.com, that is A-V-A-N-K-I-A. -A -A. And the contact, this is my direct line, 6150. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for joining today's webinar. And if you feel that there's any additional thing which you would like to discuss, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great day ahead and it was uh, great having you here. Bye-bye.